Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. American cops are being assassinated, and I agree with Sheriff David Clark who said, and I quote, the President of the United States started this war on police. Barack Obama is the leader of a movement that is inspiring black thugs to kill cops and white people. Seven law enforcement officers have been murdered just this week. This is outrageous that a president would partner with hate mongers like Al Sharpton and Louis Farrakhan. Obama used the Justice Department to bus agitators to the Trayvon Martin fiasco and to the Ferguson, Missouri riots. Sharpton and Farrakhan stir up the crowds to riot, loot, burn, and attack people. Farrakhan in particular is calling for blacks to stalk white Americans and kill them. This is a call for mass murder, and it should be a call to battle stations for every patriotic American. Only this time, it's not the British are coming, it's the black Muslims are coming. Farrakhan and the new Black Panthers espouse Islamic Jihad as their so-called justice, and their targeting of American law enforcement officers indicates that they intend to create mass chaos and bloodshed in America. These guys are terrorists every bit as much as Al-Qaeda, and they need to be treated as such. They are calling for the killing of white people, hanging their bodies on trees, and then posting a picture of it on social media. The cold-blooded murder of reporter Allison Parker and her cameraman appears to be the work of a black homosexual who answered the call. And trust me when I say that it's only a matter of time before the radical homosexuals adopt the same tactics against men and women of faith who stand for God's law. Now, these thugs apparently think that they have been treated so badly in the USA that they're justified in murdering anyone with white skin. The Black Panthers are threatening to go into hospital nurseries to murder all the white babies. Well, the ones that Planned Parenthood missed out on. Now, this is an evil straight from the pits of hell. And we the people dare not ignore this. History shows that terrorism does not die out on its own. I believe that Obama and the hardcore left have a plan. History shows that totalitarian regimes often instigate violent chaos in the streets as an excuse for a massive government crackdown on freedom. The goal of liberalism is total domination over the citizens. Think about it. The goals of the left in the USA are similar to Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin. Disarming the citizens, finding a scapegoat, Jews and Christians, controlling the media, massive voter fraud, controlling the courts, indoctrinating the children, and finally, getting rid of dissidents. Barack Obama's time is running short. I believe Sharpton, Farrakhan, and Obama are working to ignite a race war so the totalitarians can do what they have done throughout history. Now there are three things that stand in the way of the dismantling of American freedom. Number one is the Bible that calls us to live as good men and women in Christ Jesus and whenever possible to live in peace with all men. The left got rid of it first and foremost because they are deathly afraid of the Bible's influence. Number two, the Constitution of the United States, which is the law of the land, written expressly to protect us from totalitarians. And three, American patriotism. Those of us who believe in what the United States stands for, freedom, generosity, duty, honor, Millions of us took an oath to defend this nation against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And if these self-proclaimed enemies of America want to shed American blood, then they should be met in the streets by American patriots who will stop them just like our forefathers did. Please join me in sounding the alarm. Pass this video to as many people as possible and join me for the Battle Stations Tour to rally an effective pushback for the good of the USA. Go to PatriotCauses.com and click the Battle Stations Tour, and then send me an email at Bill at WildBillForAmerica.com with the words Battle Stations in the subject line. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching, and America bless God again.